Hi, and welcome to the Julie Says So Movie Minute, where I'll give abbreviated reviews of all the biggest new films opening this week. I'll also tell you what the top five movies currently out are and hook you up with some free movie passes. We'll wrap everything up with the hottest new movie trailer of the week, so let's get started with Annihilation. Can you describe its form? No. Start from the beginning. This one stars Natalie Portman, who joins an all-female expedition into the forest to figure out what has happened to her husband. Yes, I said all-female expedition, and one of the coolest things about Annihilation is that no big deal is made out of that. This group of scientists and medical specialists, including Tessa Thompson, Jennifer Jason Lee, and Gina Rodriguez, have to figure out what this odd force called the Shimmer is and how exactly it's affecting everything it comes in contact with. Think you already know the answer? No, look, I don't care how much of a sci-fi or monster movie buff you might think you are, Annihilation brings a type of terror you've never seen on screen before. Even better, this is book one in a three-part series, and the follow-ups are already in the works. So if you like scary flicks, good old-fashioned monster movies, or just being shocked right out of your seat, Annihilation is the film for you. That's why I'm giving it an A. Also in theaters is Game Night. I have kids at home. Not with an ass like that, you don't. Oh, well. Thank you. Starring Jason Bateman and Rachel McAdams, whose murder mystery party might involve an actual murder. Bad guys show up, fake weapons end up being real, and an unexpected someone turns out to be a real criminal. Now, comedies like this tend to fall into a trap of too many twists, and Game Night is no different. In fact, the plot gets so ridiculous, it's borderline insulting. It's like directors John Francis Daly and Jonathan Goldstein thought their awesome cast would let them get away with anything. And there's something to that. Jason Bateman essentially plays Jason Bateman. He seems like he's winking at you the whole time. Kyle Chandler is perfectly smarmy as his big brother. And Rachel McAdams is so cute that she's almost too cute. Well, I'm probably just jealous. Jesse Plemons steals the whole show, though, as their creepy neighbor. I can't tell you how much I love Jesse Plemons. This is why Game Night, much like your average real-life Game Night, ends up being far more fun than it deserves to be, so I'm giving it a B-. You can find more extensive reviews and some free movie passes on my website, juliesesso.com. In fact, I had some to see Jennifer Lawrence in Red Sparrow, but they might be gone. That's why it's smart to check back daily to see what I'm giving away. If none of those sound like your thing, maybe something in my top five movies to see now will. Number five is three billboards outside Ebbing, Missouri, because just last week, this seven-time Oscar nominee cleared over $100 million worldwide. It also features the best and most extensive use of F-bombs from last year. Number four is James Corden, Margot Robbie, and Daisy Ridley in Peter Rabbit. But only if you've already seen Paddington 2, because you have to see that one. You haven't seen it? Okay, just go see Paddington 2 instead. Number three is game night because, honestly, it's been kind of an awful week and we could all use a laugh. Hey, it'll keep you from fighting with strangers on social media, for a little while anyway. Number two is Annihilation because you will spend that whole movie going, what the hell is going on? But in a good way. And number one this week, once again, is Black Panther. I want your weapons. Secrets. Have you seen it yet? If not, you're one of the only people who hasn't because it broke all kinds of box office records last weekend. In fact, it hit so hard that director Ryan Coogler posted a heartfelt open letter to the world thanking all of us for loving his movie. Oh, you're welcome, Ryan. Tune into the Julie Sesso Movie Minute next time when I'll cover Jennifer Lawrence in Red Sparrow. Fingers crossed that Jennifer Lawrence finally gets another good movie under her belt because it's been a while. Remember, you never have to pay money for a bad movie again. Just find comprehensive movie reviews and free movie passes on my website. Or follow me on social media, on Facebook, on Twitter, and Instagram. And subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can find all of those links and more on my website, juliesetso.com. And the hottest new trailer this week comes from Disney Pixar's Incredibles 2. Honestly, I wasn't that jazzed that they were making another one, especially since it's been 14 years since the first. Then I saw the trailer and found out that Elastigirl is the star this time. She has to go out and save the world while Mr. Incredible stays home with the kids, so at least there's a fun twist. Incredibles 2 hits theaters June 15th, but you'll probably be able to get free passes to see it at juliesaysso.com. I'm Julie Fisk, and that's your Movie Minute. Watch after Jack Jack. I thought we were going to go You heard your mother trampoline me. We meet again. Oh. Superheroes are illegal. We want to fight bad guys. I use bad guys. It defines who I am. We're not saying you have...
What? Someone on TV said it. I was approached by this tycoon. Wants to talk about hero stuff. Help me bring supers back into the sunlight. We need Elastigirl. Bye, sweetie. I'll watch the kids, no problem. That's not the way you're supposed to do it, Dad. They want us to do it this I don't way. know that way. Why would they change math? No, math is math. Okay, math Dad. is math. All over Dusseldorf. Dusseldorf's are dozing. Their eyelids so heavy, they're drooping. Mm. Close it! I couldn't have done this if you hadn't taken over so well. I've got to succeed so she can succeed. <laughs> so we can succeed. I get it, Bob. What the? That is freaky. But I can't keep giving him cookies. Oh! He's freaky! No biting a daddy. What? Done properly, parenting is a heroic act. Done properly. <laughs>